This week, we are continuing our work on the studio cabinets. Last week, I fixed a width issue on the wider cabinets, and I've already attached the two middle sections. I put screws along the front face and then blocking in the back to have everything aligned correctly. I now need to do that for the outside sections. And then once all of these sections are put together, I need to get it in the final location and then bolt it to the platform we built a couple weeks ago. are up here in the workshop, which means I can officially say that the cabinets are installed in the studio. I used three 3 lag screws to go into structure in the wall, and I also fastened the bottom of the cabinets into the platform it's sitting on. And all that anchoring will allow me to have those drawers fully open and not have to worry about the entire cabinet system tipping forward. I also bought myself a new tool and I wanted to play with that. So when I built the cabinet boxes, there were a couple of the edges along the top that didn't get perfectly aligned with the front face. So to plane those down, I used my hand planer to just knock off all the high spots. When you drop the level on those cabinets, they are as level as I could have possibly imagined. So knocking down those couple high spots is gonna mean that the countertops are gonna sit nice and flush on the entire front edge. With that done, the next step is to make the countertops. And I have two pre-made sections of ButcherBot countertop that I bought from the home store. And out of these, I need to make a 124 inch long, 28 and a half inch deep countertop. Of course, it's gonna be in two sections and I'm gonna have a seam right down the middle. Actually, not down the middle, it's gonna be offset. Cause when I cut these, I'm gonna cut the width first and then I'm gonna cut the final length. That way I have a couple big slabs to do something with from the cutoffs. I'm comfortable doing those two because they're just really long cuts. The cut that I'm not 100% confident in is gonna be the seam, but I think I have a plan for that. My first step is to level both of the tables in the workshop. They both have adjustable feet, and that means I can get them at the same elevation and completely level and have a nice smooth work surface that is basically three times the size of one of these.
from there, I put some two by twos on the table and then I put the countertops on the two by twos, bridging the space. I slid the two countertops together, making sure that the front edge is in line and parallel. And then I clamp everything down. With everything clamped down, I used my circular saw and its sled and recut that seam. What that gave me is a cut on both sides that were perfectly matched. So when I pull everything apart, and slide it back together, the seams to line up perfectly. So let's see how I did. Well, that looks terrible. I don't know if the camera is picking up what I'm saying, but the cut doesn't line up at all, and there was tear out on one of the sides when I did the full depth cut. So. I guess I need to find a different way. Oh boy, here we go, moment of truth. After using the router to make the seam, time to push it together for the first time. Live on camera. Well, it looks pretty good. Let's line up the front. Wow, oh, that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. Maybe these will be long enough. If not, I'll get the other ones out too. As you can see, that is a nearly flawless seam. All right, I'm really happy about that. Ooh, it moves a little bit. Oh, that doesn't matter, because that's past. Yeah, this is free floating. This is not. So from here up, that is amazing. All right, well that means we can cut this at 28 and a half inches wide, 124 inches long. We can round the corners. We can put a corner round on all of the edges.
Well, that's going to do it for this week. I didn't get nearly as far as I wanted to with the studio cabinets. I wanted to get some lacquer on these parts, but I just ran out of time. I am really happy with the way this seam turned out. It was probably the thing that was making me the most anxious about this project. And then we are past it. Just got to do a couple more things and I'll have the cabinets down in the basement complete. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week.